So, how did you get into composing music? I was writing jingles, radio ads, nothing extremely fancy. I was doing it for local companies, so I would write a jingle uh, on spec, you could say, and then I would go meet with the company. One was called the Cajun Pier, because I'm from Louisiana, ah, actually, right. so they're coming home here. And I'd play them the jingle, and I'd say, you know, how about this? And they'd be like, Oh, that's really cool. Wow, we like that. You know, I'm like, well, how about you pay me, you know, X amount of dollars? And they're like, why would I pay you for that? This is what you do for fun. You know, I'm like, oh, wow. Um. So it was a tough racket for a while. But uh, after that, I was lucky, since I'm a big gamer, to get hired at Sierra Online, actually, uh, in Oak Ridge, California, which led to me joining, eventually, Blizzard, where I've been for years and years. Mm -hmm. So when composing music for World of Warcraft, what is your inspiration? Is it the game itself, or is it a certain type of music, books? What, what's your inspiration? They have amazing stories in the Warcraft universe, and so I like to meet with people like Chris Metzen, who's one of the franchise directors. He's a big writer. He's a huge comic book fan, and he loves these very large-scale epic storylines. And so we just talk, and he tells me about the characters and where they're going. And I mean, you know, when he tells you the tragic story of Martha being this heroic figure that's then going to turn into this kind of dark character, it's really inspiring. That and they have concept artists that draw the most beautiful landscapes. And so I'll get a piece of concept art. It'll be like this forest in the morning. And then I'll write music to that picture because I'm like, wow, this is really beautiful. And then eventually they make the zone, like in this case, maybe like Elwyn Forest. And I'll log in there and I'll be like, let's hear the music. And, and it's exciting. But at the same time, you know, when I'm writing music for the forest in the morning, I'm not anticipating everyone running around, you know, killing mobs uh, in a mad rush. So sometimes you have to adjust things a little bit for the actual gameplay situation. But uh, yeah, the artwork and the storylines all throughout the Blizzard games are just super inspiring. Great. So do you play the game as well? I do, but not like my hardcore colleagues. You know, I play a little bit. Um, really, I ran around in the world a lot at a time that wasn't even gameplay, when there was no one there in the world. I'm just running through these giant, seamless landscapes just to hear the way the music was playing and to experience the, uh, the zones. And that's not really playing so much, but I really enjoyed the hours I spent just hanging out in the world, getting inspired by the landscapes. Nowadays, I'm more watch over people's shoulders when they play than I do actually uh, log in. I see. So when did you make the band Critical Hit? Well, Critical Hit's been active for a little bit over a year, maybe a year and a half. We started out, my partner Michael Gluck and I, uh, got this crazy idea backstage at a video games live concert. I was having some music performed there by VGL, which is an amazing show, by the way. We were playing some Warcraft music, and Michael had been doing some guest concerts playing piano, and we got to thinking, you know, it would be fun to start a band playing video game music, and you know, about six months later, we were percolating ideas and figuring out what we wanted to do, and eventually, I just got in touch with some amazing players, many of whom have played on scores that I've written for Blizzard, and just asked, hey, how would you like to play this kind of progressive, interesting, uh, new video game music project? And everyone was really into it. So now, you know, today we're lucky to be joining Comic-Con, uh, playing at all their shows in 2015. So it's super exciting for us. Fantastic. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No, just thanks to all the gamers for being uh, there playing our Blizzard games. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in Azeroth sometime soon.